Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to section 7.6, Common Log Rhythms. Let's get started with our first and only vocab word for today, and it is a common log rhythm. And common log rhythms are log rhythms that use 10 as their base. And you'll like these problems today because you can use your calculator, and we are asked to use a calculator to evaluate each expression to the nearest ten thousandths, which is the fourth decimal place. Now on your calculator, hopefully we have a button that either looks like log, or I know on the iPhone if you turn it sideways, it's log base 10 is the button we're using today. So if we go log 6 for some calculators, or 6 then log for our calculator, we will get 0.7782, and that is evaluated. Log 6 equals, in the neighborhood, 0.7782. Then you go ahead and hit log this, or 0.35, then log, to get a negative 0.4559. Both of those are evaluated. Moving on, now we're going to be asked to solve each equation, and we are going to use our logs. Now if we remember back to our power property of logs, where the log of a base, and see how this P went in front, if we remember that, we can use that to help us solve number three. So we have this x in an exponent. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the log of both sides. I'm going to take the log, just the common log, of 5 to the x, and that's going to equal what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side, log of 62. Now where does this x go? When I take the log of it, it goes out in front, correct? So now it's going to be x and then the log of 5, just a normal log of 5, this x is being multiplied to the log, that's going to equal the log of 62. Now what we can do is punch some of this stuff into our calculator. Log base 5, if you punch it into your calculator, is 0. 0.6989. That's going to equal the log of 62, which is 1.7. 9, 2, 4, and please remember to bring down our x. Toughest part here though is, how is this x attached to here? It is attached through multiplication. So how do you undo multiplication? We have to divide on both sides by 0 0.6989 9 to get x all by itself. And so now when you divide on both sides, x is going to equal 2.5646. Here, let's try it again on number 4. Now we have an exponent right here. What do we have to do to both sides? We have to take the log, just the basic log of both sides. That is all we're doing. When we take that log of both sides, that exponent, any exponent, has to come down in front of the log. So now it's going to be y times the log of 6 and the log of 42. Now if you want to evaluate these two right away, you can go for it. You don't have to write this extra step. I'm just showing it for uh, your work purposes. And so then the log of base 6 is 0 0.7782 and the log of 42 is 1.6232. Make sure that we bring down our y. Now what do we have to do to both sides? I have to divide out that 0 0.7782 because it is attached through multiplication. So now y equals 2.0859 for our final answer. Now we have a couple more. Now it's the same thing, but now with inequalities. It does not change what the, the process does not change with inequalities. So with number five, here we have two exponents. What do we have to do? We just have to take the log of both sides. Now we have the log of three to the two x is greater than or equal to the log of base 10, six to the eighth. When we take the log of the three and the six, both of the whoops exponents have to come in front. So now we have 2x times the log of 3 greater than or equal to 8 times the log of 6. Now what we can do is take the log of 3 
and the log of 6 to get log of 3 is 0. 0.4771 greater than or equal to and log of 6 is 0. 0.7782 bringing down the 2x and the 8 multiply these things together now over here we just take 2 times 0. 0.4771 which gives us 0. 9542 and that's going to be an x because that x is attached to the 2 greater than or equal to and then 8 times this mess which is 6.2252 how do we get this away from the x we have to divide both sides by that right there so we divide over here as well whoops and that is should be a 542 and so now x is greater than or equal to 6.5240 for our final answer. Could we check this? Yes. You pick a number bigger than 6.5, pick 7, plug 7 in for your x, and I bet it works. Now with 6, only different uh, story here is this guy right here, minus 3. How do we tackle that? tackle that? Attack it the same exact way. Take the log of both sides. So we take the log of 3 to the 7x greater than the log of 2 to the 5x minus 3. Where do both of these exponents go? Both exponents go in front of the log, 7x. And then times log of 3 greater than that, 5x minus 3, and times the log of 2. Let's change. Let's change now those logs into numbers. So we have 7x, and then the log of 3 is 0. 0.4771, and is greater than, we still have 5x minus 3, and then the log of 2 is 0. 0.3010. Tricky part here is on this side, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think we have to do with this? We have to distribute those decimals to both the 5x and the 3. So on the right side of the equation, we will have 1.5051x, 51x minus, right, minus 0.9031. And then over here, we have 3.3398. Now we solve for x. How do we solve for x? Treat them just like normal numbers. I know they look like big bad decimals. They're not too bad. We're just going to add this decimal over to the other side to come up with, let's see, 4.2429, and that's going to be greater than 1.5. 5051x. What do we have to do? We have to divide both sides by what number? 1.5051. So now we get for our final answer 2.8190 is greater than x. And this is a zero right here, ladies and gentlemen, for our final answer. Yes, I know it looks bad. There's a lot of icky numbers there. But just treat them like normal numbers. Decimals are numbers too. Just add them, subtract them, and divide them like you normally would. Solve the inequality, and you'll be fine. One more formula here is the change of base. With our change of base, the base number will go to the bottom of the fraction, and the big number will go to the top of the fraction. So looking at our examples, here with log of base 10, same thing as normal logs, log base 10 of 3, log base 10 of 11, or if we look here, the base goes to the bottom, big number stays on top. So how do we tackle these? First one, log base 5 of 140. We're going to express it in terms of common logs, then round to the nearest 10. So in common logs, it is log 140 over log 5. There it is expressed in common logs. Now you can just punch in your calculator. Log base 140 equals 
one four six two and then the log of five is point six nine nine zero same thing just keep going with your calculator divide the top by the bottom to get a final answer of three point zero seven zero four for our final answer eight one more time again the big number this eight this eight goes to the top so it's a log of eight over little number goes to the bottom log six that's going to equal log eight is the same thing as point nine zero three one over log six is point seven seven eight one punch in your calculator we get one point one six zero six four our final answer and that does it for section seven point six common logarithms good day